Go to Tim Sullivan. Malik, uh, you, you played 26 minutes tonight after 17 on Saturday. How does it feel physically and and where are you in terms of conditioning? Um, I'm feeling good. Uh, I think 26 minutes is a good bounce back. Um, I feel like I felt better than I did at North Carolina as far as just conditioning and everything. Um, so it's coming. It's coming along. It's going to be a process. I know I can't go out there and just play 40 right now. It's going to be piece by piece, um, but I'm feeling good. What part of your game hasn't come back yet or needs the most work in your mind? Um, I would just say the feel in general. Like, it's everything in my opinion. Uh, just picking my shots, uh, just picking my spots, knowing um, knowing clock uh, awareness. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is just getting used to all those little nick, nicks and hits and uh, just bumping into somebody and you forget how much it kind of hurts. So <laughs> it's just getting used to all those things, um, getting used to the body, my body just getting beat up. Thank you. Tyler. Yeah, Malik, Carlique was mentioning that your communication on the floor, particularly on defense, is really important and something he noticed immediately. Do you feel like particularly with, with a younger team, with guys you don't have a ton of experience with out there sometimes that you have to kind of be that vocal and take that much initiative to to direct guys out there, particularly when you're back. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I think on any team, you know, but especially with a young team, we, you know, we got a, we got we got eight sophomore and freshmen. Um, so you know, it's important for me to try to talk to them throughout, just through everything, you know, um, just. Just everything gets important, but it's important on every team, you know, on every team. Then you need a vocal leader, uh, and that's just kind of what I want to be. I feel like that's kind of what we was missing. Um, I feel like it's just it's not easy to communicate while seeing all these other things going on. So just trying to teach them that it's easier than you may may think. But uh, I think it's very important, and um, you know that's just what I want to do for this team. Uh, Carly noticing that it feel I feel good. I feel like I'm doing my job. Any further for Malik? Uh, go to Michael. Hey, Malik. Michael McCann, Cardinal Authority. Uh, bounce back. A, a nice win. Um, what did it mean for you guys to 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 come back the way that you guys did tonight? Oh, it meant everything. Um, you know, it had already been weeks and weeks and weeks, and to come back how we did at North Carolina, you just wanted that bounce back game. I'm glad that we was able to just get two days of practice in, and we got right back to it. Um, just to build some self-esteem, some confidence in the team. Um, but we got work to do, you know? We got to put that one behind us. We got the win. Now it's on the Virginia Tech. Close it out for Malik with a question from Shannon. Hey, Malik, you guys just found out earlier today that David wasn't going to be available. What were your thoughts, you know, when you found out that, again, you'd be even more shorthanded? Um, step up. One through... One through twelve. One through twelve needed to step up, and um, I think we got we got that tonight. Uh, just five players in double figures, um, fourteen offensive rebounds, dominating them on the glass. You know, we just had people step up, and you know that's what it takes when you lose a player like David, just with his playmaking ability and you know his mind for the game and how talented he, ta talented he is on both offense and the defensive end. You know, you need players to step up, and that's what we did tonight. Hoping hoping to get David back real soon. Leek, thank you for stopping in.